Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play RimWorld Beta 18 Jungle Tribals. Uh, this will be part 20 of our Let's Play and the last episode for for this series. I think it's gone on long enough. Uh, we're pretty pretty well sorted, you know. It, it's going to take a big effort to kill us and eventually I'm sure we could probably um, like build the ship and escape, but it's just so far into the future that it's not worth playing like another 20 episodes just to see the uh, the escape. So we'll play this last episode and I'll do something a little a little different, a little special at the end just for fun. And uh, yeah, that'll be the end of end of this series for the moment. And then I don't know what to play next. I guess, you know, I'll think of something. I'll try and find something that's kind of similar to this. And we'll, we'll see how we go. Alright, so... How are we sitting? What are we researching? It's like shields, right? Yeah, shield belt. Excellent. I mean, shield belts I don't really give a shit about. It's the shield generator I want. I think these you can shoot out of, but you can't shoot in. So it's kind of like the shields from uh, from Star Wars in the prequels, with like the droids, how they can always sort of shoot out, but they can't shoot in, but you can just walk through them, that that type of thing. So I'm pretty sure that's that's what we've got here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Wow, this is running really smooth. Uh, why? It's like, suddenly, suddenly now that we're on the last episode, the game's like, oh, shit, uh, act normal, run, run good. Uh, how, who's our best? I mean, it's Val, isn't it? It's our best, uh, social. Uh, which isn't even a skill here. Which is, uh, so sure. Pretty sure it's Val. Yeah, it is Val. Good, good, good. Check the bolt. Bulk goods trader. Let's see how we go. Mm hmm. Okay. Don't really want that sculpture. What else can we get rid of? I have got plastic bulb chunks. I have forgotten about that. Uh, salt, smoke leaf joints, those can go, chinchilla fur, that can go, we've only got a little smidgen of it. And yeah, actually that'll be okay. So that'll just be another 200 points. Look at this world. So much stuff up here that we didn't really find out, but... Actually, we had a lot of these missions to, like, kill outposts, didn't we? Yeah. A lot of those missions. Yeah, I still think the next time we play RimWorld, we might do something like some sort of, uh... You know, military outpost type thing, where I... I spawn in with, like, a whole bunch... Maybe even, like, six to eight people with like shooting as a high passion and good guns and power armor and stuff like that and do like a sort of military occupation type game could be interesting and do a lot more of those sort of adventure type things. You know, going and saving people and you know, maybe if they're not, if they're, if they're not good enough we can just uh, capture them. Something like that. I don't know, I'll, I'll look around for some mods and see what's good. See what's fun. Uh, one thing I do want to do, can we reinstall, yeah we can, okay good. I just want to reinstall this here. Because the more I look at it, like yeah it's good that they're far apart so they can't be hit by incoming stuff, but it makes it so that one of them takes forever to fire. Like this one, because I have to walk further. Okay, more meteors. 
yeah, because that one has because people have to walk further to load this one. That's kind of annoying. So what do we put under that? We put metal tiles. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we'll keep that up. We'll make it look nice. Make it look nice and fancy. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Now they're evenly far away and it should take the same amount of time to reload both of them. Should. Being the operative forward there. Uh, we have set our plastic bulb to actually smell, right? Yes, they're just not doing it because obviously someone... You see, they're just too busy or something. Okay, so you're only doing this a certain distance away. Yeah, I think it only goes up to here. Okay, what are you doing? Ah, right, you're making uh, assault rifles and sniper rifles. That's right. Hmm. How is your crafting going, actually? Still level 12. It's getting up there, though. Rare thrombos. How many? Three thrombos. I mean... Let's go and deal with it, shall we? Okay, do we have anyone with, say... Yeah, like an assault rifle. So we put you there, put you here. Uh, let's just say, Kevin's got like a machine pistol, right? Yeah. Good. Okay, that's a good start. So we'll set that up. Uh, Billa, can you flick the power on? Yeah, you will. Good. Okay. Like, I don't really want you two to... Because uh, you and... Bren? Yeah, okay. I don't really want you two to, like, actually do anything here, because you've only got swords, so that would be... bad. Okay, is that everyone? Sayo, Sharpie, Chicken's got a sniper, Val! Why are you not coming? You should be up there. Alright, how about we send our best shooter out? Uh, Val. Okay, maybe our second best shooter, because he's going to take forever. We'll send Sayo out. To, uh, to trigger the rage. This could be the death of our colony. Could be the death of our colony. I don't think it will be, but it could. These guys take a bit of killing. Come on, say so hit with the first shot so I can run. A for effort. Come on. Why are you missing? Here's a 15% shot. Why is that? I suppose there's lots of cover there, lots of trees and shit in the way. Come on. Just need one, one good hit. Not even a good hit, just a hit. Preferably when they're not, like, ten meters away. There we go. That'll do. No, I actually do want you guys to... Protect. Uh, who? Did I say it? No, no, they're all there. Barring Sayo, who's going now. Run, Sayo! There we go, he made it. Ah, uh, she made it, rather. Here we go. Into the kill box. Ah, uh, you can probably just go and switch this off, to be honest.
Come on. Alright, now we'll put you back out here. There we go, we're softening him up. Uh, you are leaving. Ah, oh, they're sick of playing my game, eh? They just want to go through the doors now. No, change their mind. Alright, and now he's going to go out into the main kill box. Ooh. Man. Val, are you going to be okay? Maybe I do need Bren and uh, Villa here. You are in... You guys are so hurt, like... Look how many times these things get shot. And not die, like that's insane. Uh, you should probably just retreat a little bit. Okay, or get downed, that's okay. Your right eye's damaged, that's not good. There we go. It's one dealt with. Um... Where is... Okay, Bren's ages away, so let's get you to rescue Val. Well, we might not need to. Okay, you rescue Val. It's a pretty good kill box, though. Quite happy. If I put you here, does that mean you'll... Yeah, they'll shoot together. I thought that might happen, but I wasn't sure. Nice. Nearly sneezed, just son. Uh, please get that out of the uh, thing. So Val, you scratched up your eye, hey? Or it scratched up your eye, I guess. Uh, can we get treatment on that with our best doctor? Or a good doctor. Do, 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 do. Uh, medicine. Which would be Toad. Toad. Could you tend Val, please? I mean, he's gonna be fine, like, left ear's a bit fucked up, but... All in all, it's pretty decent. We are gonna need a bionic eye, though, which I don't think we have. that hold urgently. I also want someone to go and finish off that thrombo, but I suspect that it's just going to bleed out any second now. Yeah, pretty much. Dead. Chop up the last one. Alright, so that's got us in meat for a pretty long time. I mean, I'm a bit bummed that Val got injured. That kind of sucks, but it was just sort of a scratch, is like a scar, is what we ended up with. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. We can, we can treat that. Uh, heat wave is over. Right, we were having a heat wave. I had forgotten about that. That happened like right at the end of the last episode, didn't it? Pirate Merchant, uh, Val, are you feeling up to negotiation? Probably not. You probably, yeah, in severe pain. Okay, who's our second best? Go on to the work tab. Kevin! Kevin, you get to be negotiator today. Congratulations on your promotion. Uh, here you go, sell all those Scyther Blades. 
What can we get out of you? Actually, it's kind of pointless because we're not going to get anything good out of the pirates, right? Yeah, no, we're, we're not. They actually have, like, nothing good at all. So might as well just sell enough to deplete them of money. Like that. Yep, a loop. It's a fair bit of silver. We almost need a vault, actually. We're getting enough silver and gold. It's pretty tempting to make a vault. Yeah, it's going to take you a while to get off, isn't it? Ah, uh, and that's going to cause pain, actually. It's just 26%. I suppose if your eyes, like, if your literal eyeball is fucked up, that's pretty bad. That would be probably pretty painful. Pretty, pretty painful. You're on a date with chicken? Aww. You guys are actually, like, yeah, it's husband and wife. Good to see you keeping the fire alive. That's a simple meal, though. Not simple meals, not fine meals, and not especially on lavish meals. No, 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 no. That's just for everything else. Uh, where are we? Four oh. oh, no, I don't care. They didn't. Move. It's gonna be a while to, before Val's sort of up and at him again. Which means our research is just at a dead stop, basically. Kinda sucks. Alright, we are getting some high explosive shells though, so that's good. Red lentils to replace meat, which we don't really need at the moment. We've got meat coming out of our ears. Look at it. Everywhere. How much cloth do we have? My god. 960 cloth. Combat supplier. That's alright. Don't mind combat supplier. Do 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 do. We got some thrombo horns. We can maybe sell those? I don't think so. I think that's an exotic goods trade on. Escape pod. Day. Okay, scratch on the chest. That's not too bad. Incapable of violent, and he's nervous and very neurotic. Uh, we're gonna rescue you. Actually, we'll capture you. We'll capture you. Just because I, I don't want to deal with, like, if we rescue him, then maybe he'll... Maybe he'll actually, like, want to join the colony, and I, I don't want that. Capturing's much better. Someone that's nervous and very neurotic is just going to go off, like, every single day. There'll be no avoiding it. Oh, Val, you're up and about. Okay, well, equip the sniper rifle again. I don't expect you to use it, but... You know, better, better have it and not need it. Need it and not have it. Good granite large sculpture. Nice. Uh, Kevin, you were our second best trader, right? So let's get you talking to Nicole over here. And we'll go ahead and see what we can pull out of that. Cannot hear properly because of poor health. Wait, what? Right, the hearing loss. Ah, whatever. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, here, you can have this. Yeah, okay, and we can't actually get anything out of them. We can get some high explosive shells, though, which we might just do. 
because I don't see the point of really anything else. Yeah, I, I don't really see the point of that. Good to see we're getting those fine meals just cranking out. That's what I like to see. Like, simple meals are good, but fine meals, that's where it's at. If you've got the meat to make it, obviously. If you don't, it's not worth it. But fine meals just give them a little bit more happiness, I think. Doesn't it? If I go here and check your needs. Uh, eight fine meal? Yeah, plus five. It's not much, but it's good enough. And that's what matters. I was just thinking, when I... Oh no, I do have the uh, psychology mod on. We don't have a therapy room. Do we? We never built that. Do you have someone that would be a good therapist? Yeah, I mean, Val. Let's build a therapy room. Doesn't have to be big, does it? Um... Actually, let's reclaim this area. Uh, reclaim soil. Okay. We'll just reclaim, say, ooh, actually, maybe not that much. Just reclaim, like, this maybe. Right, yeah, it's all marshy soil. Oops, so does that a little bit. Oop. Yeah. That'll be good. We'll do that. <clears throat> it's also like right next to the dig spot, so that works out kind of well. So we can just build a little therapy room here. Make sure everyone's a happy little Vegemite. Oh, I, I say that a lot. I forget that you guys, anyone that's not from Australia probably won't get that. Um, it, it was a big ad campaign that used to be around for Vegemite. If you've never had Vegemite, uh, first of all, you're very lucky. Uh, I'm not a fan of Vegemite. It's a big Australian thing, but I'm not a fan of Vegemite. Um, it's like black tar is basically what it is. You spread it on toast. It, which is apparently what it's best on. I I disagree, but whatever. But Vegemite's a big thing in Australia, and it used to be an ad campaign that it was like this big song about being a happy little Vegemite because you uh, ate Vegemite. Funnily enough, so that's that's what that that's that reference I keep making that someone's a happy little Vegemite. It's from an ad campaign. It was quite effective. I don't like Vegemite anymore. Like it, it has not increased my like for Vegemite, but uh, definitely stuck in my head. Can't believe I I don't think I've ever ever actually explained that before. My bad. Anyone that watches this will be sitting there going, what? Larissa's given birth. More little fennec fox puppies. Train them for obedience, of course. Got to train it somehow. And I think we butcher Homer. An item stash opportunity. A persona core. Uh, okay, we don't know what's guarding the stash. Uh, how long's that going to be there? Because that might be a good way to end the episode. We'll, we'll wait a bit first, wait till like everyone's sort of sorted and better. We'll see if we can get a an eye first. Actually, how long's it going to take to get there? Won't be long, right? It'd be like two days? One day. One day there, one day back. Okay. Okay. We might uh, we might grab that towards the end. Would be would be a good way to close out the episode if we can manage it. So I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Mm -hmm. 
So Ruslan is one of our little little fennec foxes, which has actually been trained. Excellent. And Raker. Raker is the old. Okay, good. We've reclaimed this. So let's build a little counseling room. Just like Yeah, like this will do. Sort of bedroom sized ish. If we can put a nice carpet there, we'll put a nice green. Green or blue? Well, blue's for the mayor's office, so let's, let's do a nice green. Naturalistic feeling. I like it. Uh, obviously, we're going to need another rug. We're going to need another doormat. And we might actually make an, another 2x3? 2x3 rug. We'll go 2x3. So then in here, obviously, we're going to want a nice like, therapy couch. Just like that. And we'll put a we'll put a dining chair in here. Oh no, it'll be a, a how would you call it? An armchair, yeah. Is there anything else we can put in here? Just like decoration stuff. Not really, is the. Uh, we're gonna deconstruct this. We'll move it somewhere else. Caravan packing spot. We'll just put it here. Oh yeah, and I want this at least superior. Both of these, at least superior. Uh, obviously, we're going to need a nice. We'll put a nice lamp in here. Not a not a torch. We're not savages a anymore. <laughs> Actually, hang on. We'll put this. Cancel that. Because we're going to put a little tiny table next to it. It's like a, a an end table type deal. Not, not an actual end table, but like a little sort of thing to put their drink on, maybe, or something. And we will put the light over here, at the foot of the therapy couch. I think that'll be nice. We've needed a therapy room. Our people have needed therapy for a very long time. After all the shit I put them through all the time. Uh, still haven't trained Raker. Or someone could, you know, get onto that. That would be good. Who's in charge of building this stuff? Okay. No? Ah, uh, shouldn't... Shouldn't, like... Yeah, Squint should be building. Ah, uh, Squint's asleep. That'd explain it. Too sleepy to do work, eh? Like slackers. Okay, we finished our rug, so let's... Actually, that's a doormat, but we'll put that there. There's our rug. So let's install that. We'll put it here. We'll make it... Center of the room. Nice rug. Actually, what quality was that? Nah, it's poor. Kind of sucks, but still, it'll make the room nicer. So what are you looking at? Uh, impressiveness, mediocre. Wealth, somewhat poor. Space, rather tight. Beauty is neutral. And it is clean. We'll see how we go once we build these couches and stuff. Wow, you didn't make a didn't make a chair good enough? Ah, it's only good. It's just good. That's crap. It's not good enough. So is this actually assigned a therapy room? No, it's just a room at the moment, until it gets a couch, I suppose. Then it might change to something else. Ah, superior therapy couch. That's what I like to see. Yep, therapy office. Slightly impressive. Mediocre wealth. Ah, I mean, it's only like an alright room. Uh, Squint, do you wanna... Okay, you're here. That's why you've stopped. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Get back to it. Hop along. You know, you're our main builder. Wow, and you failed the construction of that. That's interesting. Is there a... Uh, is there a stat for list of chance for that? Construction... Success chance, yeah. Wow, you guys are 100%. 
why? Oh, let's get rid of that. Food poison chain. Ah, oh, he doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, can I add the construction skill? Yeah, why are you at 100%? Squint's at 89%. Why is that? Probably because you're stoned on smoke leaf. Yeah, and your manipulation is poor because of that. Hmm. Man, you just can't can't get better than that good chair, can you? Squint, you really really failing me here. Val's not. Actually, where is Val? Oh, there we go. He's just, he's just taking a break for a second. Forty-three. Getting up there. Do you have a wife? You have a Kinsey rating of four, which I believe means you are... So a zero is completely straight, by memory, and a seven is completely homosexual? I think? So four is bisexual? I think that's how it worked. I think that's how the Kinsey rating works. I could check, but it doesn't mean that much to me. There we go. Now how is it? Slightly impressive still. Somewhat rich. Are you office? Weird. Eclipse. Eh, guess that's not... Super duper problematic. I mean, sure, we don't get solar generators, but our battery should last long enough for that to go away. Oh, wow, unless we're getting no wind as well. Holy shit, that's dropping fast. Okay, with the shield bell. Good. What do you need to build that? Just out of interest. I think it's built here, yeah? Uh, shh. Shield belt. Six components, 50 plastic, and five uranium. Ah. The only surprising thing there is really the uranium. Like, plasteel and components does not surprise me at all. That's most sort of high grade stuff. Because towards the end of the game, they try to push you towards um, sort of trading for your stuff. Like, you need a bit of an economy towards the end. Yeah, we'll just sell all this shit. Uh, incendiary shells. I mean... We could... Could kinda... Pick that up? Uh, what do you do? Increase your move speed and shooting accuracy. Interesting. Very, very interesting. What's an advanced helmet? What's the difference? A lightweight combat helmet with complex design. Reinforced with plasteel. Not effective against blunt weapons. Yeah, it wouldn't be. It's uh, definitely very interesting though. So, I mean, do we grab a couple? We could just grab like five. Yeah, why not? What's the worst that could happen? We set fire to everything? Probably, but should be alright. Uh, mortar shells. Okay, yeah, they're all stored in there. Good, 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 good. Oh yeah, wait, we should uh, reset the traps. Do that, please. And you've been trained. Uh, inspired surgery. I like it. I like it, I do. But... Uh, there's really not much we can do there. What's wrong with your leg? Oh yeah, you got some toes bitten off and lost a frostbite and stuff. Yeah, so Kevin's got the ear problems. Affected by frail, yeah, nothing we can do about that. Affected by a simple prosthetic leg. It would be nice to get a bionic leg to fix you up. Affected by left shoulder. I think it's scarred, isn't it? Chicken stoned, toad stoned, vow. 
Affected by pain, yeah. Yeah, we could just invest in painkillers. But that doesn't really treat the problem, that just kind of delays it. Like, it doesn't fix it. You're just reducing it by a percentage. Got a lot of raw materials there. Okay, Kevin is working on it, slowly. So, Kevin, you've got 20 Devil Strand, which turns into how much? 12. That's not... That's not bad. That's not great. Like, I, you know, preferably I'd like better. But 12's alright. I can, I can work with 12. How's our power doing? Still dropping. Because we have no... No wind coming through the turbines. Hmm. That kind of sucks. Okay, I was going to complain about Kevin not doing his job and getting rid of this Devil Strand, but that's exactly what he's doing now. So, yeah. He showed me, I guess. Yeah, so they're filled with, like, they're filled with, like, napalm, right? Shell filled with flammable gel and a small explosive charge. So, basically napalm. I mean, flammable gel. That's basically napalm. It's like jellied petroleum. So, really, if I wanted this to be the mayor's office, I should... Give him a table and a chair. Makes sense. I guess. But I, I like the idea of the mayoral bedroom a bit better. I like the idea of it. It works well. I like our archery around here. Uh, we completed making a duster. Fair enough. Um... I swear I've got the fishing mod on, but maybe I don't. So we thought it'd be under like misc or production, but it isn't. Sorry, I don't know what made that pop into my head like just then, but it's just what I was thinking. Let's do an electronic brain power for you. You got nothing to clean. Mr. Cleaning Bot, yeah, because you're sort of ambling around, not really, see, no, no purpose, it's not going fast. Well, that was a close lightning strike, it was almost dangerous. Cool, we've reset all the traps. Ah, uh, rest in peace, Rissa and Tony. You were good, both of you. you did your jobs perfectly. Still working on assault rifles and snipers and stuff. What is that? Yellow cloth shoulder pads. Or vivid yellow cloth. Oh, sorry. How much sleep last night? It's a shitty night's sleep. Just calm down. Yeah, Val, can you get back to work on the uh, shield generator? Uh. I'm just sort of trying to think. Because I do want to go for this thing. This Persona Core. But. I'm also sitting here thinking, like, if. If there's mechanoids there, which there very well could be. We're pretty fucked. Like, mechanoids would be the worst case scenario, because they just take such a pounding before they go down. Yeah. 
But if it's just raiders, you know, maybe... If there's not a million of them, we could maybe get lucky. And sort of take a couple of them out and not get hit. The problem with any of these raids is the one thing I... The reason I don't do it a lot is because how frequent injuries are in this game, like, chances of you just getting hit all the time, like, just getting hit by a bullet or whatever is pretty high. So, like, you're going to be trying to treat people away from your base, which is not at all what you want. Like, it's hard enough treating them when they're at, at your base and you have medical beds and stuff, let alone when you're out in the middle of nowhere. So that's my main problem with doing things like that. Actually, that's a point. We don't have medical beds. I suppose we had some other things take priority. We could easily get hospital beds, but I don't think it's worth it. Probably don't need a large shield. I don't think. I'm sure the actual shield generator is probably more than big enough. Squint, really? Like, there's nothing wrong with you, you're so happy. You're so happy. But you just got bored, I suppose, and just started some fives. God, that's so annoying. No more pyromaniacs ever. No one gonna those fires out that are burning down the Great Hall? Anyone? Anyone at all? It's like a hundred degrees inside. Bill is gonna get bloody burned. Okay, seriously. Everybody wake up. This is getting ridiculous. Squint is actually gonna kill us. Yep. Because you're all getting burnt because it's like a million degrees. Can we hold that door open, please? Yeah, it, it is 570 degrees indoors there. Wow, Squint may actually... Who is now asleep? Are you kidding me? No way. Yep, Val's down. Again, it's like 400 degrees in there. Villa's down. Sayo's down. Toad's down. It... This, this could be the end of our colony. This could be how it ends. All because Squint... Yep, yeah, chickens burn to death. I mean, they're all gonna burn to death. Wow. Uh, no more pyromaniacs. My, I, I've decided what my next game's gonna be. It's gonna be Death to Pyromaniacs. Wow. Like, you, you guys know how much I hate loading, because I think it's a cop-out, but just... Just wow. I, I have never actually had, like, it's always a danger, but I've never actually had a colony, especially one that big, like, collapse because of a fire starting spree. Because that is mental. And it's so annoying because, like, they, 
a fire starting spree happens, like, no one in my colony is unhappy. Like, he's not unhappy. It's just like with chemical interests and stuff. It, it's just a mental break because they can. You know, there's no... Yeah, like, there, there's no reason for it. They're not unhappy. No, normal mental breaks happen because people are unhappy and you sort of had it coming, right? It's like, if you're not keeping them happy, then, you know, this is what happens. But things like that, where they just, they just snap for no reason, that is absolute bullshit. I mean, again, like... Normally it's not an issue, it's just Squint set some of the most retarded and dangerous fires I have ever seen. And then everyone just went to bed. Like, they really should, they really should institute a thing where people can't go to bed if there's a fire in the home area. They just, they all wake up automatically, like, you sh I shouldn't need to tell them to wake up. should just be a thing, so that they fight fires all the time. And of course, you were the... No, you're not the mayor. Furnigen's the mayor. Right, you're the, like, husband of the mayor. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Yeah. Bill up. Press F to pay respects. Press F to pay respects. Can we... Make sure the area around this is clear. Might even... Hang on, let's set up some sort of path over there. Alright, around it we'll just put some... What is this? Granite? Okay, we'll put some granite flagstone around it. Is it granite in there too? No, sandstone. Okay, granite flagstone around the outside. Around the outside, around the outside. Wah, wah, wah. And... I don't know, we don't have that much granite, do we? No, we got more sandstone. Could just do like paved tile. Couldn't we? Like we could. Ah, garden tools, reclaim the soil there. Robot Trader. So we can get out of it. Probably not much. Robot Traders are pretty trash. Unless you want robots, obviously. Funny that. Um. Actually, we can sell Thrombo Horn and Elephant Tusks? We can also buy a Persona Core for 26 grand. I guess it's five times the price because of Trader type. That's crazy. Uh, we probably won't... Yeah, probably won't bother selling to the robot trader. Although, there was a pirate merchant that rocked up as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll sell this, sell these. Um, guess we'll sell the scyther blades again. Is there anything else? No, I don't think so. So we're just making more bank, basically. Doesn't really achieve anything, just gives us more money to play with. How are we doing over here? Are we still working away? More grant. I mean, we built most of it. Just need to cut up some more granite blocks, which we do have a few. couple. We could get some more granite blocks if we want. Unroof one. What's that say there? There we go. Now mausoleum's a bit nicer. So... 
what we could do, I'll just leave the clock running. We could build a path down this way. Make some sort of path that goes straight up there, but I don't know where to put it, like... Because that would be sort of three wide, I guess. Where would we put that? No, I think that'll do, right? That's, that's nice. Now there can't be trees that grow around it, and it's just got a nice sort of border. Yeah, I think that'll be good. A nice mausoleum for all the people that died, which would have been everyone. Except, like, maybe Squint, if that rainstorm had kept up. And I just left Squint outside. That would have been okay. That just shows you how ridiculously devastating fires are if they break out. Because 9 times out of 10, like, you're gonna have a wooden colony. That's just sort of a fact. Wood is easy to get, and there's no real advantage to upgrading to stone. Especially not when, like, if I was to upgrade to stone, it would take so much to upgrade all these buildings. Like, some of them are already stone, so that's okay, but just look at everything that's not. Look at it all. It's absolutely mental. Ugh, I can't believe that fight. <laughs> I mean, that was funny as hell. Frustrating, stupid, but funny as hell. That after we've survived, like, Mechanoids, we survived pirate raids, we killed three thrombos together, and we were ended by Squint and his stupid pyromania. It was a long time coming, always knew it was going to be that way. I should have just let her die. That, that should have been the end of this series, that would have been amazing. Damn it. That would have been incredible. Absolutely incredible. Are you the therapist or the therapy? Kevin. You're probably the therapist. A group of travelers from Union of Oria are passing by. Hmm. We now have another raid to sort of close this one out. That'd be nice. Oh wait, hang on, I was gonna... Shit, send that thing over here. Uh, let's do that then. We'll form a caravan. We'll send all our snipers, which... I don't remember who that is. Oops, uh, say... Uh, I guess I should probably check, right? Okay, chicken. Chicken Val. Actually, let's go Chicken Val, Toad, Furnigen. Chicken Val, Toad, Furnigen, Sharpie Share. Sayo. I'm not gonna remember that. Chicken. Okay, Sayo. Val. Toad. Uh, yeah, chicken. Sharpie one? I can see your gear here, right? Can I? No. Damn it. Furnigen was one. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four. Well, who doesn't? Kevin doesn't. Billa doesn't. Billa and Bren, the flowerpot men. 
Oh, the yellow squint. Squint has things, so it must be Sharpie. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then we'll send you off with obviously some simple meals because you're going to get real hungry. So we'll send you off with just over two days worth. Say just over, it's like almost three. But... And that's about it. That's fine. Form up that caravan. Form of a caravan. Now, if we get raided while they're away, we're absolutely fucked. It should be really easy for you guys to form that caravan. Like, what do you have to grab? Some rations, that's it. Uh, a party. Chicken's birthday party. Well, Chicken's birthday party's gonna be on the road. Because uh, Chicken's going to... Collect an AR Persona call. Interesting. There's another one as well. How long it takes to get to there? Yeah, one day. Same distance. Those roads, the the ancient roads, they're pretty good. All right, so let's send you over here. Maybe there'll be nothing here. Maybe maybe we'll just walk in, walk out. <laughs> God, I hope you guys don't die. I hope there's nothing there. Or, or it's just like a couple of tribals or some mad animals or something. Shit, mad animals would be really bad. I didn't think about that. Ugh. That would be really, really, really bad. You guys aren't going to be there in, not, like, nine-tenths of a day. No way, because you're going to be resting soon. What time is it? Buddy, 22 hours? You'll be resting pretty soon. You're resting right now, yeah. It never takes into account resting time. Kind of annoying. I really wish it did. So you could actually tell. So we got four people at home, and none of them are really good at anything. We have two people with guns and two people with melee weapons. That's not good. That's not good at all. That's how people die. Look at that. That's emptying out our uh, food stockpile. <laughs> like you just you're in the middle of cooking it, you just stopped and moved it to the other other stove. It's pretty funny. I'm glad they do that. I'm glad they don't just go, well, that's stuffed, and put it back, and then pull it out again. That's pretty good. I like it. I like they just shift it. Mom, Dad, are we there yet? Did you say half a day? I think it's going to be half a day. Pretty well set up. <laughs> Point four of a day. I mean, days of food 1.9 rots in 1.2, so that's not really what you want. Yeah, I need some survival rations, actually. If I was going to keep playing this game, we'd want to research survival rations. Actually, probably when we do that military occupation type one, we'll have to do survival rations. It's the only way to travel. Otherwise your food rots way faster than you actually eat it. Which is not, you know, doesn't really help you survive if it just rots away. Wow, Bren, you are busy. Are we sure Billa and Bren aren't the same person? Like, I don't remember ever seeing them in the same room together. You know? When day rolls around, Bren comes out. When night rocks up, Billa's gone. Sorry, Billa comes out and Bren's gone. We're nearly there. We might just see what's going on. And Alpaca's given birth. 
Okay, just the one. That's thrifty. Thank you. Uh, battery broke down. That's okay. Someone will fix that, I'm sure. Ooh, and we have hit time, but we'll just get to see what's going on over here, I think. What's over here? Yep, it's just a couple of, uh... Although they have a mortar. That's not great. What if you have a sniper? And you have a sniper. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is move them all over here. Because what's the minimum range of the mortar? There. It's actually just, like, if we're really, really careful and really, really tricky. Bullshit. Bullshit. Chicken's dead. Val's down. Bullshit. Bullshit that you hit that in one shot. I can fire at a standing target for 20 fucking minutes and hit nothing. And with a level 4, you hit me. In one. What an absolute laugh. Put him down, please. Thank you. Take that. You're all sort of clustered, so chances of you hitting someone. Just. Well, I'll just space you a bit, maybe. Yeah, that's not gonna protect you for long. Yep, hose him down. Thank you. Uh, okay. Val, you're kinda screwed. I mean, I can place down, like, a uh, sleeping spot and make it a medical bed and tell someone to rescue you. But that doesn't mean it's going to work. Although, Toad's a doctor. Already doctoring Val, okay, thank you. God, but see, now we're gonna have to bring... We're gonna have to bring back, uh, Chicken's body. I bet your Furnigen's happy about that. Oh, wait, Squint's your husband. Who is Chicken's husband? Toad. Toad, you doing okay? Extremely low expectations. Well, definitely hit it. I guess he is desensitized, so that's sort of doesn't help. Um, is that all the turrets? Actually, hang on. Why don't I just? Why don't I just shoot the batteries? What am I doing? Are they all connected on the same grid? I don't think so. Nah, this side's on one grid. That side's on another grid, yeah. Okay, let me go over here. Or up here. And we'll hit this one too. Okay, yep, this is gonna get hit because they're in the way. So when we take out this battery. Theoretically. Ah, uh, whoops. Yep, I turned off the turrets. We'll just destroy this, make sure they don't turn back on during the day. Okay, so that deals with those ones. Wait, stop, 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 go that way. Yeah, that's better. I like how Sayo wasn't even in range, but managed to get hit. Uh, Toad, I need you to wake up and go deal with this turret, please. 
fast. This is the advantage of assault rifles, you're seeing this now. The, the fire rate, way better. Okay, there we go. Defeated all enemies. Uh, I think I need to, like, claim this. Yeah, there we go. Now I can go in. And there is a Persona Core in there. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Val... Wow, that was a good treatment. That was a damn good treatment. Damn good treatment indeed. Uh, anyway, we are going to have to leave this episode here. So thank you very much everyone for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, you Aussie nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you think you know any friends that might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video too with them. I really appreciate it. And finally... If you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, uh, feedback about the videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so I can see it. But, uh, before I, uh, before I sign off on this, here's, uh, here's a little something I prepared for fun. Enjoy. Though the lost tribe of Okatan may have come to their new home with nothing but a few materials and their lives, they created a village that has stood the test of time for many years. As the years wore on and the original settlers' names and stories disappeared into obscurity, many would forget the struggle that these colonists had to go through to establish the Vegavas of the jungle. Each of the colonists continued to live their lives day to day in the village, and had their own adventures on the side. After the ill-fated journey to collect the Persona Corps from the pirate defenders, Chicken's body was returned to the village and laid to rest alongside their other fallen brothers and sisters. Val's love of research made him an invaluable member of the colony. He continued to slave away at his research bench for many years. All he wanted, he said, was to find a way to fly up into the heavens and save his friends from the hardships of the surface. Bren created many new and exotic foodstuffs in his time at Vegavas of the Jungle. He brought joy and excitement to the day-to-day -day life of the colony. Unfortunately, this joy was cut short when he was taken prisoner in a raid by pirates. His friends search tirelessly for him to this day, and his faithful hound Gaston waits patiently at his bedroom door, waiting for his owner to return. Toad never quite came to terms with his wife's death, and he channeled this into his work as doctor of the colony. After numerous years working to keep everyone in one piece, he decided to focus his efforts on trying to replicate the Glitter World medicine that was in such short supply. While he couldn't quite reach the heights that he wanted, he did manage to create a more potent medicine that saved the lives of many people from many surrounding villages. Thurnigen and Squint enjoyed a long and happy marriage, despite the hardships of village life. They survived pirate raids, fires, and radiation storms, but eventually, time catches up to us all. They died peacefully of old age, many years later, having watched the colony grow from a couple of shacks next to a mountain to a thriving metropolis that attracted visitors from all over the planet. Billa's love of animals was legendary among the people of the Vegavas of the jungle. He could tame the wildest stallion and soothe the most savage of beasts. This eventually led to him packing up his belongings, taking some animals, and forming a traveling petting zoo. His petting zoo brought joy all over the world to people young and old. Though he is frail and had numerous hearing problems, Kevin was welcomed into the colony with open arms. Always thankful for the opportunity to be more than he was before, he threw himself wholeheartedly into his work. As the colony grew larger and larger, the demand for weapons, trinkets, and trading goods also grew. He didn't need to be strong or hear well to create masterpieces for his friends, and he was content that he'd found his place. Sharpie was always happy to use his skill with a rifle to benefit the Vegavas of the jungle. Whether it was keeping the peace, hunting for game, or fighting off a raid, he was always there, 
his bionic eye watching carefully. A raid many years down the track costs him his left arm, but, as he put it, damn thing was never good enough anyways. He loved his replacement bionic arm, and enjoyed challenging unknowing visitors to arm wrestling matches whenever he got the opportunity. While Seo was the youngest and newest member of the colony, she found where she could be of use quite quickly. Learning from Sharpie, she quickly became extremely proficient in her marksmanship, some say surpassing her teacher. Love eventually fostered between the pair, and they enjoyed a long and happy marriage. Seo never regretted the decision to join the Vegabars of the jungle, and eventually rose to become the mayor for a time. Her strong policies and willingness to listen endeared her to many people. And that is where our story ends with the Vegavas of the Jungle. Though they had many trials in the beginning, they slowly, slowly whittled down their enemies and created a home for themselves and many, many more generations in the future. So guys, that's actually it. I hope you enjoyed this little, uh, little, uh, thing that I did, just, just, you know, for a bit of fun. So, uh, I hope to see you guys for the next series of, uh, RimWorld or whatever I do next, but, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next series. So, goodbye.